How's it going, tech fans? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, and today is very exciting for the people out there who are fans of Apple. Many new releases were announced today, and we're gonna talk about those products. So five new things have been announced, all the way from a brand new Retina Display 13-inch MacBook. We've also got the new Mac Mini, iMacs, new iPad, and a new iPad Mini. So now let's jump in, check out those products and their release dates. Let's go. First off is the new 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro, which features a 2560 by 1600 Retina display, four times the pixels of the current 13-inch MacBook Pro, also a pound lighter. They dropped the optical drive though there. And it has a dual core i5 and i7 CPU options, but unfortunately no dedicated graphics, only integrated HD 4000. We also have a new Mac mini refresh with updated Ivy Bridge i5 and i7 CPUs with dual core and quad core configurations. Also for the first time, USB 3.0. You can get up to a one terabyte hard drive or a 256 gigabyte SSD with option of Fusion Drive, which is essentially the same thing as Intel's SRT, which is Smart Response Technology, which uses both a hard drive and an SSD to make your computer run faster by caching. Also comes standard with four gigabytes of 1600 megahertz memory and is configurable up to 16 gigabytes. Now these things start off at $599, but one thing that is a downer and you might disagree with, no dedicated graphics, only the internal onboard graphics are available in those, and that is kind of a bummer. Next up are the new iMacs, which really have an incredible, incredible new design. They're five millimeters thin, 80% thinner than the previous iMacs. They have updated faster quad-core Ivy Bridge CPUs and NVIDIA graphics. Ooh, ooh, what happened to AMD? The highest end iMac comes with a GTX 675 MX graphics solution. You can also use up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and you can use up to a 768 gigabyte SSD three terabyte or fusion drive options. Now the 21 inch model ships in November and the 27 inch in December. So if you guys are fans of this, be on the lookout. I plan on getting one of these into my studio because hey, there's no new Mac Pro being released and I wanna see just what these new things can do. Next up is the new iPad 4. It's a little bit controversial and quite a shock actually to many is because they didn't even think this thing was gonna be out until at least 2013, but Apple has slid a curveball out there and is releasing it anyway. Now, as far as specs go, this thing's supposed to have a much faster A6X processor, which is supposed to outperform even the third generation iPad by a huge amount. It has the same retina display, same pricing, new lighting port, and pre-order start this Friday. So make sure you jump on this shit quick if you want one. And lastly, we can finally put the rumors on all you naysayers leaving those crazy ass comments. Yes, the iPad mini is coming and here are the specs to that one. The new iPad mini has a 7.9 inch 1024 by 768 display, an A5 processor, the same as the fifth generation iPod Touch. It also features a five megapixel rear camera, an HD front camera, LTE, comes in white and black, it's gonna be about $329 and can be pre-ordered this Friday as well. So if you guys are looking for that, make sure you're on it. Now let me hear your comments below because I know a lot of people out there hate Mac. I don't know why you do it, it's just a product. But hey, right now these guys have a lot of good news and that brings new stuff into the industry. So I like that, I'm a tech guy. So let me hear from you tech guys what you feel and we'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow as me and Jonathan travel to New York to see the release of the new Samsung Note. Note 2. So look for that stuff tomorrow as we come to you guys live from New York City. See ya.